What's up party people? I'm Tia and we are going to do our blind spot tarot reading today. We're going to be digging into what blind spot is holding you back from complete self-acceptance. What blind spot is holding you back from complete self-acceptance the most? I'm going to do these in order of uh, descending order. So instead of going one, two, three, four, we're going to go four, three, two, one, uh, just for fun because I like to do things uh, differently. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pick them as I go and then I will make the cover photo. So probably by now you've seen the cover photo, potentially picked your deck. If not, and you're brand new to tarot readings, I know a lot of my friends have never had a reading before. Um, all that you're going to do is just take a deep breath and listen with your intuition. The best way that I can put it is one number is probably going to feel heavier to you than the others and that's your deck. Um, if you're not sure, then go ahead and just start on a pile. Listen to it for a couple minutes. If it doesn't resonate, either A, that's the wrong deck for you, or B, I'm just not bringing through any information that's going to be helpful to you right now. Uh, you can feel free to pick a different reader or potentially wait for a different reading from me if that's what you want to do. But not every single message is going to be for you, especially when I'm channeling for the collective. So if you do want a personal reading, uh, you can find a link to that in my bio. But I'm really confident that if you give it a second and if you're seeing this anyways, why wouldn't this be for you? <laughs> um, so no need to spend a buck if you don't feel like it or if you can't right now I'm doing this so that you don't have to if you're not able to right now because um, I know what that's like um, that being said if it does resonate and you want to hear more uh, and you do have the cash hit me up for a reading uh, at least for now for the month of January 2023 uh, at least for this month I am available for personal readings I'm not sure if I'll be available past that um, so we'll see <laughs> Um, so we're going to get started right now on pile four. I'm going to get one card for your overall energy. I'm going to get a card for your blind spot um, for self-acceptance and then maybe a couple others to clarify. And they're each going to be pretty short readings. I'm not really going to let them go past 10 minutes each. Um, for now, while we're getting started, we'll just keep them short and simple. I'm sorry if it's annoying from your view, but I am going to keep them facing me because it's just going to make it easier for me on the reading, but um, if you want to take a moment to zoom in, you can do that, <laughs> but I will pick, it, pick up like each card and put it up to the camera as I go so that you can see what I'm working with here. All right, so pile four. Overall right now, I'm getting a vibe of studiousness. So you might be um, studying something right now. Either you're a student or you're learning a new skill for a new job or you're just the kind of person like me who's like always learning. Um, but we've got um, right here, obviously, this education card. So that tells me you're just really in the throes of learning and um, you've got a lot of threes here. You have a three on every single card. So you're trying to create something new right now is what that tells me. Your overall energy is this magic prayer card, which is really interesting. Also, <laughs> I can't make this up. Look at this color scheme. This is like all the same. It's so cool. I love it when that happens. Um, so we're definitely, we've definitely got you in like the renewal of the heart chakra. I feel that you were doing... So you were doing a bunch of things that didn't align with your real values. You didn't love them, they didn't make you passionate, and you were just sort of going through the motions, and you pretty much 
recently sort of torpedoed uh, all the momentum you had going in a new direction. So you may be feeling a little bit bereft right now. Um, like that was a really big, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm only thinking of like really big old words, rendering, um, but like, um, like snap, like, you know, you sort of like really quick break. Maybe you had a breakup or maybe um, you're still processing one because you just realized you weren't in alignment with your heart. Um, the good news is you're you are now, <laughs> which is awesome. All of your cards uh, are aligning with that. Um, so well done, honestly. I feel like this just personally from me, um, I know how hard it is to break something down and build something new again, uh, especially after disappointment, especially after a long time of investment. Um, I get the sense that this was really like splitting pain. Um, you know, like my side kind of like felt funny right there. I know you guys saw me. It's like side splitting is the phrase that I got. Um, and so there, there was like a side splitting pain. Um, maybe, yeah, you probably did have someone by your side or you were by someone else's side. Like you were um, an assistant in your previous job or you had a really supportive role or you were in a relationship where you wanted more leadership and you were kind of more so the support like we are like why am i supporting this thing i'm trying to like be the leader um so <laughs> that's funny and that sucks so honestly well done that's hard to do and so you're educating yourself right now as you're moving forward sorry i just hit the camera my bad um there are There's a chance that the people around you, the people that you're calling friends, are actually stifling your potential. So take a look at your friend group, really reevaluate them right now. Um, I'm not saying cut anyone off. I would never advise like really extreme, uh, really extreme actions like that. But there might be someone you need to shift a little bit in the way that you um, confide in them. Maybe they aren't quite as trustworthy as you think that they are. They've got some shady things kind of going on behind closed doors. Or maybe um, you think that they're speaking well of you when in fact they aren't. So I don't want to seed any doubt into a friendship. If that, um, if that doesn't resonate, then that's awesome. If it triggers you, then it's probably <laughs> happening. Um, so just uh, open yourself alone in introspection with curiosity toward who that could be and be willing to make the adjustments necessary because you've already put in so much work to get yourself into a new and different place. And uh, it would be a real shame if you just, for the sake of not hurting anyone's feelings, kept people around who aren't really gonna help you move forward. So I would, I would hate that for you. I would hate for you to be held back. Um, you absolutely are very heavily influenced by the people you spend the most time with. So if you find yourself spending quite a bit of time with people who, um, you know, they're sort of cheerleaders in your life and they're bringing a lot of positivity and energy, um, it's possible, you know, it's possible there's more going on there. Uh, it may be an overcompensation. So look at your most encouraging friendships, I guess. That's kind of a bummer uh, thing to say uh, and to bring up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, like I said, if it doesn't resonate at all, you're just going to be like, no, no, that doesn't apply to me. And that's perfect. Um, I'm really happy for you if you have a supportive and amazing group of friends. Um, but just just be curious. Just approach it with curiosity. Um, don't approach it with like a hammer or, or a sword. Um, there's no need for that. Just slight adjustments is all that's necessary here. Um, what's holding you back from fully accepting yourself actually, which is really interesting based on the rant that I just went on, is um, that you actually don't fun fundamentally and fully see the work and the expression the work of your life and the expression of your soul as worthy of support. For whatever reason, you're very good um, at building by yourself and you're actually not as good at letting help in as you think that you are. 
you need to forgive yourself for being a bad friend in the past. And that might be why you've got some like energetic ties to people who are like bad friends or you've got some like energy to clean up in that space. Um, maybe it's just your own self and your own memories of the past that you can open up and go back into and just say, you know what? Yeah, like I didn't show up well for my friends. I didn't um, maybe literally show up the way that I wanted to. Like maybe I didn't show up to a party or an event. Um, or maybe just energetically I wasn't able to be as encouraging to them as I wanted to be. But um, with where you're at right now, you really get to let go of that and have compassion for yourself. Because like I said, you've grown a lot, you've changed a lot, you're in this whole new space and you're trying to create something new and if you don't forgive yourself for the way that you failed in the past, you're going to recreate those patterns in this new place. And what a shame that would be to have done all that work and bring the baggage with you. Like, don't do that, you don't need to. So, um, you've grown so much, you've changed so much, you've spent the time, you've spent the money, you've spent the energy into healing. I, I get the sense maybe you either took some time off from work or you hired a coach like there was a real sacrifice in your financial world for you to move forward in, to a stronger place and so please honor that investment please honor the investment you made in yourself like with all these green cards I'm also getting like money vibes here like you're Like at one point you made the choice to use your finances to help propel you forward. And if you keep this stagnant energy, either with regards to friendships or the lack of forgiveness for yourself, then you're, that investment might not, um, might not have the ROI that it potentially could. So maybe you need to forgive your friends actually, maybe the, like the crunchy energy in that space is your lack of forgiveness. Maybe it's some boundaries that need to be set or maybe you need to forgive yourself. So if you're finding it, like you're probably the prop kind of person in this space where you've healed a lot, you've, you're probably some form of um, healer, teacher, leader, manager, like I get the sense these people are really high functioning. Um, if you pick this pile, um, you're the kind of person who's known for helping other people. And I think that's why this is so tricky because you get your heart locked into these places with these people and it's really hard for you to let go of when you've hurt other people's feelings and it's really hard for you to let go of certain connections because they're so close to your heart so you know i'm getting sort of the phrase from the um from like this old bible verse that says you know guard your heart for it's the wellspring of life and you know we've got a lot of water here and so your well your emotions your wellspring the way you're able to show up with compassion for yourself and other people is greatly tied for your ability to guard yourself guard your space say no sometimes and and actually be okay maybe with building on your own for a little while or um or let go of the idea that it takes a village like there's this pressure you're putting on yourself to just have a big healthy community and I almost feel like you're putting up with people treating you poorly because you'd rather like have friends than not <laughs> I know that that sounds weird like obviously it's great to have friends but in your sense I almost feel like you're kind of getting walked all over you're either getting walks all over or you're walking all over yourself and not having that compassion. You're just not able to say no. Um, so there's all, either this voice in your head that's kind of bulldozing. You just need to say no, like we're not going to blame ourselves anymore. Renew your mind and transform that voice. Um, or really assess the people in your life and the way that they're contributing to your inner dialogue, the way that their voice sits in your head really 
you know you will know a tree by its fruit so like what fruit does that friend's voice have in your life be really honest with yourself about that are they really inspiring you toward a better life or are they actually berating you or are they actually belittling you are they saying it with a smile and laughter and so it seems like funny are they encouraging sort of but a little bit deprecating um or are you being a little bit self-deprecating because you won't forgive yourself oh hopefully that didn't get that up um because you won't forgive yourself for something in the past um you know as within so without so this is gonna probably show up in in multiple areas so just really assess who's around you maybe it's not friends either it could be your family um but the people who are surrounding you the people you're letting in you're letting in you're listening to and the voices in your head so to speak um your self-talk of how you're listening to yourself so there's some forgiveness that needs to happen here either toward other people or yourself i would imagine a little bit of both but you're really finishing out this season of clearing your heart which is awesome you're about to be in a really sturdy place you're building something that's gonna last you've made the sacrifices that were really wise to make so again i really want to commend you there's not a ton of correction here there's really just compassion and forgiveness that you guys need to give yourself so please do that you deserve it your heart deserves it at the end of the day everyone was probably really innocently doing the best that they knew how to do and so you really get to just release and breathe through and let if you did have a major loss or if there's a big boundary you need to shift or if there's a big um rupture and trust either towards someone else or toward yourself that you need to forgive allow that to take as much time as it needs don't rush that process allow the grief allow the time you know it takes time to till a garden and so as you're uprooting those thoughts as you're uprooting that stagnant energy of um tension just let it take the time that it needs to take and have forgiveness for yourself also along the way uh these aren't just quick fixes although it very well could be sometimes these things are just you shine a quick light on it and it's over you know and that'd be awesome i hope that happens for you um but if it doesn't then i i hope in that space you're able to give yourself the forgiveness and the time that you need to process because it's okay for it to take time and sometimes the most beautiful and best things do take time uh, take time to develop take time to grow take time to gestate Cool, that was fun. All right, Power 4, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this was helpful at all. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at TO23Much. Uh, you can, for the month of January 2023 at least, uh, you can find the link to book a personal reading in my bio on Instagram. So that's where to find that. I will also link it below in the YouTube description. So that's it. Thank you so much. I love you beyond reason, and I trust you with you. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and then we're gonna move on to pile three. How great is this mug? It's my friend Coco's. Ah, oh, so word's gonna be backwards. What are you gonna do? Okay, so pile three, here we go. I'm gonna use the same deck here. This is my very first, one of my very first Oracle decks that I got. Um. my favorite to use I just have the longest relationship with it I feel like I just I speak its language all right oh you guys are ready to talk oh my god <laughs> you guys watched me shuffle that like what I mean maybe you didn't see the other one but this is the same card that pile four got so we've already got you in the same energy as them that's cool um if pile four resonated with you at all maybe you want to take a look at that one as well but no need to watch two unless you really want to um but that's cool that's i mean to me that's a little bit confirming we've got the same kinds of things going on in the collective um so that checks out all right what is our blockage to self-acceptance so i'm gonna get two cards here i've got your overall energy right now and i've got your um what is the biggest blockage to self-acceptance? And then I'm gonna get a couple clarifiers and then we're gonna dive right in. I'm only gonna do about a 10 minute reading. It's gonna be really quick. I'm gonna be gentle. <laughs> 
And while I'm shuffling, if you do want a personal reading, at least for the month of January 2023, which is when I'm posting this, um, I am taking personal readings. I don't know if I will take any beyond that. Um, but you can book them. You can find the link to that below in the YouTube description or at the link in my bio on Instagram at Tia, T-W-O, three, the number three, much. Tia two, three, much. got a lot of green too. Everybody's on the heart chakra. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So yeah, first and foremost, um, if you're familiar with the chakra system, basically it's not that serious. You don't have to be. <laughs> um, it's just a way to sort of, um, the best way that I can put it is like, you know how like light is just all white, you know, uh, you've got a beam of light and it's going to be reflect apart like the ring light I'm using it's white light if you were to put a prism into it and separate it out it's gonna be different colors so it's just a way to separate out someone's overall energy and pinpoint the areas that are and are not in health in a healthy balance so that's really all that it is it's not anything on its own it's just simply a method of communicating um, and like I said getting really specific about where someone is healthy and where they're not so um, what I'm getting from you guys is that your heart chakra which is where your um you where i would say well everybody's center is different but you know there's the old bible verse uh says guard your heart above all else for it's the wellspring of life so there is a sense that you know compassion forgiveness um acceptance and your sort of emotional world for the most part is held like in your chest you know that's why when a lot of people cry um you know we're putting our hands on our heart if we want to like show love we're not like putting our hand on our belly and like smiling at someone you like put your hand on your heart and you're like oh <laughs> you know because <laughs> that's like where we're feelers you know like i'm feeling from like right here um so this is more This is, this is really interesting because it is just so freaking much like the last pile. I'm, I'm feeling like it's going to be repetitive, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward with it anyways. Okay, actually, that makes sense. So, pile four is basically on the same journey as you, and they're just a couple steps ahead. So, don't let that discourage you. That's okay. <laughs> um, so, they've sort of already gone through the heart healing that you're potentially going through now. I get a sense of mourning and grieving here and this is the space where it's possible what's about no i don't want to say it like that um like safety support and warmth and um acceptance comes from the inside but when we don't have it inside, we tend to allow connections on the outside that aren't for our overall well-being, right? That aren't overall healthy for us because 
we're, we're attempting to create that sense of safety on the outside. So it's very possible that moving forward for you is going to look like breaking something. <laughs> Um, I say that with all loving kindness gentleness, please take your time. Don't make any rash actions. Don't <laughs> pause um, Maybe it doesn't need to be rash but I get the sense that you are currently in a potentially tumultuous Either like a job that's detrimental to your health a friendship or you're either in a friendship or very enmeshed in a friend group or a social circle that is engaging in activities that you know aren't aligned with the life you're really wanting to create for yourself maybe they used to be really perfect for you and wonderful and I'm sure they're all beautiful and amazing people so this isn't a judgment on their character it's simply the vibe that I'm getting is that You've all, you know, because the general card that you're in is magic prayer right here. I get the sense that you guys are really big dreamers and, you know, you've got your field of dreams here. And this is what's holding you back from self-acceptance. I almost get the sense that the only thing holding you back or the main thing holding you back right now is actually just not taking a chance on those dreams. You're keeping yourself around the same people who have your old dreams. And it's really hard sometimes to evolve. I really just like, I feel for you and I wish I could give you a big hug right now. Like I feel, um, yeah, if I, if I like feel into your energy, I feel a lot of grief in my chest. I get the sense that you have started over again, potentially many times before. And you're like, I can't believe I've got to do this again. Um, and that these people, it's its interesting. I got a positive card to clarify your energy, but I don't feel like it's in a positive place. You know, you've got this come together card here. I don't know if you can see. And I almost get the sense that this union right here is just not, it's not working. It's not healthy. You're, um, you're reaching, you're stretching. You know, I'm kind of drawn to these drafts. You're like, mm -mm, like sort of straining to get towards each other. Like, there are certain connections that seem like they're um, like golden. They seem like they're helpful and beneficial, but it's something like it's all smoke and mirrors. It's something like um, it's a facade, like, um, you know, the whitewashed tomb. Like I almost just feel like this golden heart is just empty on the inside or rotten on the inside, which isn't to say that that's that person's character or yours, it's a metaphor. And so I get the sense that in a metaphoric sense, you're in either this relationship or this friend group that seems to be like crowning you, that seems to be giving you some form of status or recognition that you've been craving and yet there's something that just feels off there's something in your heart that's like mm, I don't know you know and like listen to that listen to that listen to that nudge you know um and so what what will help you move forward is to create this sense of home look how cute this little card is a little otter in a hammock get out of here <laughs> so cute so this is this this is the space you're creating for yourself in your heart this is technically a root chakra card but i get the sense that this is like you and your heart creating a space of rest where it's okay to rest it's okay to accept yourself you're finding how, what it looks like to nurture yourself and you're creating this sense of home in your heart so that when you move forward you're only accepting into your world the relationships that foster that and encourage it and enhance that sense of enjoyment in life um this isn't to say that you're just going to become something that like sleeps and doesn't do anything um you've got you know your dreams and you've got this field of dreams but i'm really drawn to these like fairies that are sitting on the eggs and they're all just kind of sitting like this like with their hands and they're not really doing anything like i just get the sense that the people surrounding you aren't on the same wavelength with regards to 
the um, no. Okay, I'm gonna use the metaphor of like different cups. It's like they wanna drink the same liquids, but their, their cup is just smaller. Like they don't have the capacity to hold the bigness of what you have to pour out into the world, if that makes sense. Um, maybe it doesn't. Hopefully that metaphor like registers for someone because it's like, it's almost as if you're frustrated. You're like, these people are so much like me. There's like the vibes are there. Like we're vibing in a sense, but you have to take into account capacity, not just vibes and alignment. And the what's actually holding you back is that your dreams, the, the not just the dreams, but the bigness of what you're able and capable of doing in this lifetime is actually just bigger, not better necessarily, right? We're not saying these people aren't as good as you. We're just simply saying um, capacity is, you can, you can be born with a high capacity or you can develop it, you can. So some of these people, maybe if you were to get creative with how to help them develop their capacity, maybe they could come with you, or maybe setting some boundaries and distancing yourself, they'll feel challenged to meet you where you're at, which would be super fun, and they'll become the kind of person who can hold the capacity that you can. But I get the sense right here, there's a misalignment with capacity, and it's confusing you because there's so much else that's working, there's so much else that's aligned with this either romantic relationship um, your friend individual or friend group that you are enmeshed with. I don't use the term enmeshed in a negative way either. Um, you can healthily enmesh yourself with someone who's <laughs> benefiting you. That's awesome. Um, but I get the sense that you just, and this was the same thing with as the last, as the last pile is you have so much compassion and you see the potential in people and so you want to stay where you're at until you see that potential realized, but it's actually holding you back a little bit. And so the way forward for you, the way for you to accept yourself more is to accept that you're actually more capable than you realize. You actually have more talent and more ability than you realize. So whatever these dreams are, if you're in a lethargic place right now, if you are not really enjoying life right now, if you feel like you've got a lot going for you but you just can't find a place of deep acceptance in your heart, it's because you've outgrown your dreams. Um, and so you need to give birth to new dreams because the ones that you have now are actually boring you. Um, and the, the way forward is for you to bet on bigger dreams and to open yourself up. I wouldn't necessarily say cut off the friends that are maybe of a smaller capacity than you. Just open up like one new friendship for someone to someone who has a bigger capacity, but make sure before you do that, that you take care of your inner heart space Go within and ask yourself, in what ways am I not offering myself the compassion, nurturing, rest, warmth that I'm craving? Because if you don't figure out a way to create it in yourself, you it's possible that you'll just call in another relationship in a small capacity because that's where your frequency is vibing at. And so we don't want to do that. We don't want to just recreate the same season again. We want you to be making new different mistakes. Uh, we want you to build something new and, and grow and expand. So, or at least that's what I want for you. Hopefully that's what you want. That's probably why you're here in a reading. Otherwise, why would you even listen to a reading? Um, so I'm just going to assume that's, that's what you want. And so if that's what you want, then that's perfect. And the way to set yourself up for success moving forward is to create a sense of home on the inside. And until I feel home in my body, until I can take deep breaths and be really grateful for where I'm at, until I can find some semblance of safety and security and wellness, well-being and warmth in my own body, then my gauge of what is safe on the outside is going to be off. So maybe take a second to create that sense of rest for you now. Maybe take a break from expansion for a minute until you've created that sense of safety in yourself and then enter into a new phase because 
right now you may create something new and um and like i said recreate the same season so dream your dream dream your new dream while staying in the space you're in for now rest rejuvenate recoup um heal your heart mourn whatever you need to mourn grieve out what's inside of you and then you'll be able to move forward strong in a way that you can sustain the next um season of life that's coming for you where you're actually in alignment with dreams that will excite you and will be fun to get out of bed for you know um so create a new vision basically create a new vision dream a new dream and be willing to do what you need to do um in order to open up that timeline and potentially make the sacrifices uh slowly and delicately and um that could just mean giving less time to people it doesn't have to be serious you don't have to tell them you're not for them anymore they're not for you anymore just maybe say no to certain social engagements and just let it be what it is um you don't have to always explain yourself okay pile three that was fun all right that's gonna be it for you pile three thank you so much for letting me read for you i love doing this um i hope that that was helpful to someone somewhere uh, if you do want a, a personal reading, you can find the link to that below uh, in the YouTube description or you can find it on Instagram in my bio at Tia23Much. Um, they are pricey, but uh, they are fun. <laughs> and I go this fast and just dig as deep as we can uh, for you individually and for what your situation looks like. Um, so you can let me know what topic you want the reading for or uh, you can just leave it open to whatever. Um, Otherwise, thank you so much. I love you beyond reason, and I trust you with you. <laughs> All right, pile two. I swear, I need to write more coffee. <laughs> more energy. It's just the so delicious. All right, pile two. Here we fucking go. Where's pile two's overall energy? I swear to Thor, if we get in the same card again. much green energy everybody's heart chakras which honestly I love to see it love. are there two 23 cards because I swear to Thor oh no it was from the other deck I was like I know I had another 23 and it was not this card but it was from the chakra deck but okay lots of 23s um we're in the year of 223 which is a very special to me. That's my birthday. <laughs> so this is my year, damn it. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with you, pile two. you can't really see these I will hold them up as we go um, so your overall energy here I've got the wishing well card I'll just show them to you now we've got the golden palace this is what's holding you back clarifying that we've got choice sacral chakra card has to do with decisiveness and action and we've got ride the wave we've got 48 23 17 and 14 for anyone who cares about the numbers I didn't say that in the other readings but do a little bit of numerology here I'm not an expert <laughs> okay, I just made a funny noise hi Sasha are you here to inform the reading would you like to say hello no she does not want to say hello okay <laughs> all right 
right, let's see what's going on with you. So, oh, did you hear that? My back cracked so much. Yeah. All right. Pile two. Okay, <laughs> um, oops, hopefully that didn't cut the reading off. Um, the phrase I'm getting is get cracking. <laughs> get cracking. I, it's interesting, you've got this wishing well card, and I almost get the sense that like, You're almost like sending out prayers, you're seeking help, you're wanting advice, but like you don't need it. Almost this reading, like honestly, some of you right now can shut this off because you know exactly what you want to do. So shut me off, I'm not offended. <laughs> um, but truly, some of you are like, you know exactly where you're at and where you want to be heading and almost the problem is that you have so much clarity, you're like, this can't be it, this can't be real, it can't be that clear and easy and possible. But like, you put so much work into becoming a healthier person that you actually are in, you know, they call them different frequencies. If you're unfamiliar with that term, it's like atmospheres or energetic rhythms, like, you know, like a radio station, there's different like frequencies and that determines the channel you get, the wavelengths, etc. So we're talking like, you know, they merge when they're the same like length, whatever. And then there's like low ones and then there's like high ones. So I'm, I'm trying to visually show you like you're in a frequency of things coming to you easily and you've been wanting that. Um, maybe you've This is so funny. Yeah, some of you, like I have to say it again, honestly, some of you shut me off and go just take action toward the life you want to live. You know exactly what you want, you know exactly how to get it, or you know exactly who to partner with in order to get it, or you have someone who's so willing to help you, all you would have to do is like basically ride their coattails and maybe you're judging yourself for that. Maybe you think like, no, I have to pay my dues more or like I have to, you know, forge new territory and this needs to be challenging and struggle. But like you've already fucking struggled, dude. Like you did it in order to get to a place of ease. Like how hard was your life before? I bet probably not that easy. And so if you're in this pile, you guys are so funny. Like it's almost like you got so used to things being really challenging that you just don't know any other way. Like this golden palace is just like waiting for you and you're just like oh look at me struggling in this you know struggling in the forest <laughs> foraging for berries because I'm famished and it's like just climb a couple fucking feet and you're in the palace dude like you're right there you're right there it's so funny like all you need to do is just make the choice and like the choice that you need to make is to decide that you're worthy Maybe that's it. Maybe you just really feel like you're so used to being a pauper that living in a palace makes you feel guilty. That sucks. And I know what that feels like and I get it. But yeah, you've got willpower change. Like, man, it's like, like all you need to do is just ride the wave. This isn't gonna be hard. sense that there's another thing holding you back too is it's that you feel that it's pretending almost or that it's performative but there's something about performance what is that
okay. You're afraid of being seen as the jester or you're afraid of being seen as a clown. You're afraid of being seen as a joke. Like you're afraid of the jokes people will make of you. Like all the people who knew you while you were struggling and you're like, what, I'm just gonna like succeed now? Like, yeah. Okay, so there's all those people who knew you back when you weren't thriving and they maybe will have something to say. But think about all the people whose life you can be an asset to once you're well. Like you, you maybe haven't met your best friends yet. Like I know that that might seem sad to some of you, but like let that excite you actually. Like maybe you haven't met some of the best people you'll ever meet. Maybe you haven't met your greatest advocates. Maybe you haven't met the friend group that you're meant to run with for a long time. And it's almost as if you're, you're basing this, you're, or you're holding back this shift into abundance and into thriving because you're afraid of what all the people are gonna say who are from your past. And you're afraid of all of them judging you for doing so much better than they're doing. Maybe it is this like sort of like, um, not wanting to make them feel bad because you know that like once you reach that um, space of doing better, so much better than they are, then maybe you think you're gonna make them feel bad that they didn't come with you, but like let that drive them to healthy jealousy. Like what if you end up doing a lot better you're sort of lifted up, right? You're in this palace and what if your life becomes an inspiration? Like a lot of people who will be upset about it in the short term will be upset, kind of throw their fits and then settle down and, and maybe be like, well, hang on, what can I learn from this person? And maybe like you can inspire them. So don't let that hold you back and don't, don't stifle your own golden era, your own sense of thriving, don't lock yourself out of your own palace because you don't wanna hurt someone else's feelings. You haven't created poverty for anyone else. You haven't created terrible lives for anyone else. You're not exploiting anyone by choosing to thrive. You've actually, I get the sense through a deep sense of an ethical obligation, creating a, created a life for yourself that benefits yourself and doesn't hinder anyone else. And maybe if you're not sure about that, like. I don't know, like, sure, like, I guess if that is something that's holding you back, really take a deep breath and ask yourself, like, am I the kind of person that's walked all over other people for my success? Like, I've been guilty of that in the past for sure, and I've had to forgive myself of that. And you get to forgive yourself of that. Like, you're not gonna get it perfectly. You're not gonna climb to the mountaintop perfectly every single time, but that doesn't mean that when you're 10 feet from the top, you quit because it wasn't the perfect ascent. Like, that would be silly. Don't be silly. <laughs> Don't be so silly. Like, let yourself have the victory. Let yourself thrive. Like, let yourself open fully to this golden era that you have ahead of you. Let yourself move into the palace fully. On the inside, let yourself thrive, and then let yourself create on the outside the actual sense of thriving you will make jealous all the right people and you will inspire all the right people and you will attract all the right people and how much better is life going to feel when you're that beacon of inspiration that you used to look toward like that's going to feel so much better than how bad the haters are gonna feel. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's gonna feel bad to like hurt a few people's feelings, but like it's gonna feel so much better to know that you bet on yourself and you didn't give up on yourself and that you did it. Like you achieved what you wanted to achieve. You defined victory and you got there. So please pile two, let yourself get there. Let yourself thrive. Get yourself into the palace and then take a deep breath and enjoy it. <laughs> I get the sense you guys are like me and you just tend to be kind of hard on yourself you know it's like let yourself enjoy life like let yourself succeed let yourself just thrive and if you know it's so corny but it's like haters gonna hate like you know someone who's hateful isn't going to not hate just because you're holding yourself back that hateful person is gonna find someone else to hate 
if you're not the one they're hating so what's it to you if it's someone else or if it's you let yourself be a little hated if you're going to be hated for something it may as well be for being successful <laughs> Flowers things to be hated for you know and like I said like check in with your ethics maybe maybe you are doing something wonky that you want to assess and reevaluate and make that adjustment and then move forward make the adjustment and move forward or maybe you're not doing anything and you're just being hard on yourself so only you know that go inwardly and find that answer and then fucking move forward bro Woo. okay yay pile two we've got one more pile one Hello, Habibis. Pile one. All right. Let's see here. I think my phone might die. Okay. We're at 5%. Hopefully, she'll hang on. But I am doing these um, readings all pretty short, so um, this one might be the shortest. Just for the sake of not losing all the rest of them. Although, I think my phone would save the video even if it died while it's recording. No, I think it would. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this fast. Pile one, pile one, pile one. So we are going to get um, an overall energy. We're gonna get your overall energy. And we're gonna get what is holding you back the most from self acceptance. What is holding you back? Man, this card third pile that it's came out in. All right, actually, we're gonna stick with this deck entirely. Um, too many cards, I just want one at a time, please. So that I don't get so confused. That is too many at once. We go here. Which then we go here. Oh my God. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Okay. This was in the last pile as well. like what 53 chances what is the odds actually they're not that not <laughs> not that rare of an odd rare that's not the right word not that unlikely there we go um okay how are we doing pile one man everyone is in heart energy i really get the sense You're either in a new romantic relationship or you're newly in love with something. Um, you've just newly like shifted your heart and your passion in a new direction. So whether that looks like having healed from a breakup, you're now in a new love relationship, which yay, congrats if you are. Um, or you found a new passion, a new hobby. Uh, you are, like there is sort of like new life all around you. You know, I don't get a sense of a ton of grief here. Um, so if you are deeply grieving right now, I would pick one of the other piles because this one isn't really gonna resonate for you. Um, but you guys are actually really doing quite well. I would get the sense that the reason you're watching this is probably because you're actually doing so well. You're like, why don't I love myself more in this space? Like everything around me is like pretty bomb.com and I'm kind of like meh. Um, and that's maybe confusing to you. So I would guess that that's the overall energy of where you are at. And if that's not, um, check in with the other piles or maybe none of these messages are just for you today. Um, Okay, hang on. Okay, this is really specific and I don't like to tell people what to do, but if you're on this pile and you're not feeling well or you're having, or you're feeling a sickness coming on, I, I do get the sense that like smoking is really not going to be beneficial for you right now whether you're like heavy into hookah smoking or you're a stoner um or you're just like a cigarette smoker i get the sense that that's for you in particular right now potentially really harming your health mm, i don't like to say that because like i don't think there's anything wrong with any of those things and i don't really advocate hard um like quitting something really hard or aggressively but 
there was just a big poof of smoke and it seemed important that's sort of what's coming through for that so take that only as it resonates if it if it triggers you really hard i would imagine that it's for you um i don't like telling people what to do and i really don't like bringing through those kinds of directions um but i'm going to anyways i'm just going to say that because i felt like it um so take that however you want to please take care of your body doesn't mean that you have to completely stop smoking like forever but for instance like I'll give you an example in my own life like you know sometimes it, it, at certain points in my healing journey I would stop smoking only so that my energy could settle and I could um I could get a little clearer on how I was actually doing because a lot of times especially if you're a stoner you know it's called getting high it's literally lifting you up out of certain negative energies which is awesome and amazing and why I love that plant um, so much I worked at a um, you know I worked at a dispensary so I'm absolutely an advocate um, all I'm simply saying is if you're at a certain place where you're like you know I'm kind of doing well I'm not really sure why I'm confused da, da, da. it might be because you've got some unsettled grief like sitting in a low place in your body that you're not able to tell that it's there because you're so high all the time so it's possible for you if you're in a season of thriving and you're confused as to why you're not really able to accept yourself there's probably just some lodged up grief um so that's really specific that's only for certain people obviously um yeah take that as you want to take it so now let's get a little bit more bigger picture um collective um I get the sense that what's holding you back to self-acceptance is that is a lack of gratitude actually because you have come so far you've manifested such a better life and all you're doing is praying for more wanting more asking for more I want better I want more I want now I want this I want that um, you know maybe you've got a shopping addiction maybe you've got um, you know, maybe you've got this new love relationship, but all of a sudden you're like, yeah, but I wish I had more friends. Or maybe you've got this new hobby, but you're like, yeah, but I wish I had a romantic relationship. You know, it's like some sort of disconnect where you're not able to settle in and really appreciate where you're at. Um, and it's, it's almost like your internal world, like you fought so hard for you. You've created this amazing sense of thriving. You know, you've got the golden palace and you've got flying like, you're really doing well, Habibi. <laughs> I love that word. Um, you're actually doing so well, but maybe you're used to not doing quite so well, or maybe you've just come out of such a harsh season that you're just, you got used to just looking for problems and building and growing and da da da. Or maybe you're just really type A um, or really driven and you find it hard to just take a deep breath but like I feel this like tightness like a little bit down lower than my chest and it's almost like I just like really wish I could take a deep breath like a deeper breath right now so for you I do feel that I just feel like inhale and exhale and be where you're at and really appreciate the metamorphosis that you've just gone through really appreciate how much you've shown up for yourself you know like come through like I got the I'm hearing the phrase that like come through like you really came through for yourself like maybe you were down and out you were in an emergency situation and you pulled something amazing out and you created something amazing and you're sort of flying now and soaring now and looking ahead as if there's still a bunch of things wrong and there's just not um, you're doing quite well and your your system is seeking gratitude and if, if what it is you know I'm not saying it's bad to want more and to keep growing I love driven people and I hope you stay that way um, I do not wish to discourage that sense uh, or that urgency in you at all but you can bring gratitude with that and you can have that drive while being really kind to yourself and loving and grateful for where you're at so it's not that you need to sacrifice that drive but take a minute to just hit pause on the expansion on the growth on you know wanting more like maybe you don't actually pray but you like vision board and you set your intentions and um or maybe you are religious and you pray and like start praying prayers of gratitude just as much as you pray prayers of request and toward yourself start being intentional with gratitude rather than just setting intentions does that make sense it's almost like you're putting so much time and effort into the life you want later that your life right now in this now moment you know I'm, I'm back to this space like in me like this 
place deep in my gut is just like, yeah, but like, why can't we just be super happy right here? You know, like things are actually kind of okay. And I'm, I'm not really happy because I, all I'm doing is focusing on more and better and growth and, and rah, 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 rah. Um, so love the rah, rah, keep that, <laughs> keep on wanting more, but give yourself a minute, give yourself space to breathe and let it be okay where you're at. I get the sense that that's really what you're needing. Pile four, my phone died. I officially lost it. And I brought Sasha to say hello. Well, really to say goodbye. <laughs> um, I was pretty much to the end anyways. So let me see if there was anything else. Um, I think that's it, honestly. Phone died at the perfect time. Um, me and Sasha wish you all the best. <laughs> this isn't my cat, it's my friend Coco's, but I love her like she is mine. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. If you would like an individual reading, I'm at least doing them for the month of January. I'm not sure if I'll do them beyond that, but you can book them at the link below in the YouTube description, or you can check that out on my Instagram. Um, at Tia, T-I-A, T-W-O, three much, uh, Tia two, three much. So I will see you guys there. Um, and I love you beyond reason. I trust you with you. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. It was an honor and one of my favorite things to do. So thanks so much. Have a great whatever it is where you're at, morning, evening, or night. <laughs>